What's up, everybody? This right here is strictly for my niggas. All right? Strictly for the niggas. All right? But, you know, I mean, if you white, Mexican, any other race, gay, a woman, you know, whatever, you can use the advice, too, if it applies. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but just don't be confused when I say nigga. And you might not be a nigga, you know what I'm saying? But it, it apply to yourself and if it does apply. So, but with that out of the way, though, what I got to talk about today, if you didn't already read the title of the video, is a prenup. Yeah, it's something that you need to have. Okay? A lot of people have issues with the prenup. They believe that if you get a prenup, then you don't love that person that you're trying to be with. You're trying to marry. I don't believe that's true love because you're like, you're basically saying the relationship's going to end. You foresee the relationship ending, which I understand where they're coming from. I do. But it's bullshit. It's bullshit. Okay. And and right now, if you're, if you're, if you're planning to get married and, and you've thought about prenup, you brought this idea up and somebody and the person you're trying to get with has an issue with it. My nigga, run. Get the fuck out of there. Go. That's a red flag if I've ever seen one. Do not be with that person. That woman. Don't ever get with a person like that. All right? Anybody that has a problem with you signing a prenup has issues. Issues that you don't need to be dealing with. All right? I don't care if you're broke right now. I don't care if, you know, you're like, hey, I don't even care about money. Listen, bro. Think about your future self. You may not want it right now. You may not even care about it right now. But let's say you do become a billionaire. Let's say you are let's say you are the next Elon Musk. Bro, if you get with this girl and you marry her and she ain't do shit at all to help you, or even just do one percent of shit to help you, now you gotta give her half your shit because you didn't get a prenup. Like you again, you may not say you care about it right now, but I'm pretty sure your future self your future rich rich self, successful self, is going to be thinking about that shit and be like, damn, why didn't I think about doing that back then? Because, to be real, it's not going to hurt you. It's not It's not going to do nothing to y'all. It's just, it's just a piece of paper that says you get to keep what you have when you came to the marriage, and I get to keep what I have when I came to the marriage. It's actually a little bit more than that, but that's pretty much it, though, like, you can argue with me all you want in the comments if you disagree, you know. That's fine. You know, you might be like, I am the type of person that doesn't want a prenup. If that's you, y'all both mutually agree upon that, hey, you're that guy. You you don't mind giving all your shit to somebody that may have done shit other than at, at most, at most raise your kids. Though... I got to be real with you. Just because you raise somebody's kids does not mean you're entitled. In my opinion, doesn't mean you're entitled to 50% of what they fucking have. Like, that's just not fucking fair. Now, that's not me saying, oh, they shouldn't give you nothing. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that at all. I mean, shit. Sure, if you if, if you get with a girl, you know, let's say it's a girl, the person you're with, you know, you get with somebody. You know, y'all get together, y'all get, uh, y'all date, y'all have some kids, y'all get married, and, you know, you get rich and all this kind of shit, and then y'all like, okay, we gotta part ways. Do I believe she should get dick? No. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that she, she don't deserve, like, half of what you got, but yeah, she deserves something. Maybe, like, 10%, you know what I'm saying? Maybe 10%, maybe even a little bit more, I, I mean... More so if you have a kid, but I would definitely never say 50% ever. Like, I completely understand child support. Child support makes a million percent sense. Actually, I mean, I think that child support should be uh, even more than what it is, or at least uh, enforced harder than it is now. Because really, if you if you brought a kid into this world, well, that's a different topic. I shouldn't. I shouldn't even get off to that topic because that's gonna be into something else. I say that, that gets off into a lot of other shit. But yeah, I, I, my, that's my sentiment on that. At least part part of it. You know, I'll make an. If y'all want a video about that, let me know and I'll make a video about it. But um, to the main point is, I don't think it's fair to anybody 
that you get 50% of what somebody else made. I don't think it's fair. I don't, and I also don't think it has anything to do with love. I think that all has to do with greed. Because be honest with yourself. If you got with somebody, you, this is just me asking you a question. You don't even got to answer it. But if you got with somebody, right, and you did quite literally nothing while y'all were married at all, would you really feel that it's fair to yourself? Would you feel that it's fair that you got 50% of what this person made, even though you did nothing other than just get married? That's it. Would you really feel that's fair? Personally, I don't think it is. But hey, have your opinion. I'm out. Peace.